Ja tämän päivän puheenaiheena meillä on ammattiurat. Thierry Francis Papani on ruandalainen journalisti, joka asuu nykyisin Suomessa. Ja meillä kaikillahan on jonkin, jokin semmoinen ammattiala, mikä kiinnostaa ehkä enemmän kuin muut. Mutta mikä on se juttu, mikä saa meidät kiinnostumaan juuri siitä kyseisestä alasta? The thing that motivated me to become a journalist was uh, mostly uh, the football games that I used to watch uh, on TV. Um, it was mostly uh, World Cup in 80, 80s. Uh, Jean-Michel Larquet, Thierry Roland, those are two French uh, uh, football sport journalists. They used to do it in a way that you are really excited. You were really in the mood of watching the, the, the football game. So these do, those two people helped me uh, in finding out what I can do in my life. And I really wanted to become a sport journalist. I started working in the field of media in 1995. I was a, a refugee by that time in Congo. I worked with different uh, organizations. Of course, that was a small uh, a newsletter or magazine for a youth, a youth center. Uh, in Kenya also, in Nairobi, we used to, to, to have different uh, publications going on. I became a sport journalist, as I wished to, to become one. And um, I worked as a, a soccer analyst at the same time, in the same show. And also, I used to host some uh, social political programs in the radio, uh, with different radio shows. Minä olen kuunnellut radiota koko ikäni ja haaveillut siinä samalla juontajan ammatista aina tuolta yläasteajolta lähtien. No, tässähän sitä nyt istutaan, mutta elämä tällä media-alalla ei ole aina kovin yksiselitteistä. We have many, many countries where uh, freedom of speech is a problem. Can be a problem because of... Uh, political reasons, can be a problem because of uh, social and economical reasons. But when you have these kind of issues going on in media, then we have less opportunities, we have less um, options. The environment is very, very squeezed in a way that uh, you cannot have space to develop your ideas and uh, your creativity. Burundi still have some rebels uh, fighting for uh, the power in Burundi. And we have one journalist who went to get information at the field of rebels. But when he came back in the, in the city, he was arrested. This work that we do as journalists is very dangerous when it comes to information. What kind of information are given to the public? Ruandalainen journalisti Thierry Francis Babane kirjoittaa myös lehtiartikkeleita suomalaisiin lehtiin radio-ohjelmansa ohella. Mutta kuinka se käytännössä tapahtuu henkilöltä, joka ei juurikaan puhu suomea? Without Finnish language, you don't have a job in Finland, generally. So I understand that as long as I don't speak Finnish language, I cannot work in any radio, in any newspaper or any TV station. My articles I always write in English, but I have translators. I have people who can translate in Finnish for free and in Swedish for free. I want to become an entrepreneur. And I came up with a, a program, a radio program called Look Around Turku. Um, I'm an artist and I do workshops in Colorscape as well with children. 
Look around Turku is about giving an opportunity to immigrants to talk about their issues. Would you mind to tell me uh, uh, what you're doing at this moment? Yeah, just a, just a basic haircut. Some, some normal clip the whole head and head chops in the back, in the sides, and all like lines all around. Mm. It's a classic haircut. Must be all the simple haircut for black people. Yeah. So it's a more professional. Briefly, I think the process to get to the to my business won't be an easy process, but I I understand that I have to work hard and with the right people to make sure that uh, everything goes on time and we achieve all our objectives slowly by slowly. And I also trust that uh, the system will give us opportunities to develop the concept and to make it happen. Because I know that Finland has good environment when it comes to this kind of concept. Now, I'm ready for the challenges and I hope I'll go through all those things and succeed.